Hello, in this tutorial, I will try to teach you how to transfer the temperature data obtained from a simulation in ANSYS Mechanical uh, from one geometry to a similar geometry was a small uh, with a small change uh, in, in, in one of the geometries. For example, in this geometry, we want to move this semicircle uh, about 12 millimeter in, in, y, in y axis and then we want to use the temperature data obtained from the simulation for, as an initial temperature for the second simulation so we've got this is our original geometry and this is our uh, final geometry as you can see uh, this semicircle has moved on uh, to do that uh, let me give you a tip uh, before doing that, we go to File, Options, and then on the Export, uh, we change the Include num Note Numbers to No because the Note Numbers are going to change and we don't want to have it, uh, which I already do done. So and then the second step would be to go to Workbench and then find the External Data Gadget and drag and drop here and then we go back to our original geometry uh, and since uh, uh, since we have uh, so our geometry consists of two parts one part is the fixed part which it doesn't change the second part is that this semicircle which which moves so we need to create two files including the temperature data of uh, fixed and you know moved parts so so this temperature include the data for the fixed part. So uh, we select it, click right, export, export text file, and then uh, and then we should name it. So I name this temperature temp one, and then we do the same. Uh, before we we have to create the temperature for just the semicircle. As you can see, I just selected one face. And then we repeat that export text file and temperature two. And then we got that. And then we are done here. And let's go to external data setup. And then uh, find those uh, files that we generated. So we select temperature one which includes for uh, the fixed uh, uh, geometry part. And then we come here, we change that to 2D. And then uh, we change this delimiter type to tab. And as you can see, everything is nicely organized. And then we're gonna read it from line two. And then we need to come here and Column A is is X coordinate. Column two is Y coordinate. Column C is Z coordinate, which we don't use it, so we just leave it as it is. And column D is the temperature data. It's right here. And uh, I think we are good to go. Uh, so, and then we go and do the same for temperature two. And then we select that. We change this to top. Uh, and then X, Y, Z. So A is X, B is Y, C is not used. D is temperature but one thing which is different from the second geometry is uh, so so that circle has moved uh, in a y direction so we go to rigid transformation here and then uh, we put the the distance which has moved and it was 12 millimeter, which is going to be 0.012. And I think we are good. We can save the file. And then
So the next step would be to, to drop this external data uh, to set up and then click right and update. And then go to second geometry. I think we need to uh, refresh this cell. Okay, yeah. And then we got uh, Im imported load. So we insert the the temperature one. So so we want to apply the temperature uh, to 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 the fixed part. So what we are gonna do. Uh, so basically, we hide this part, then we box select, then we select all, and then we click on this yellow part until we have this drop down, and this is uh, file one temperature one. One other thing is uh, so uh, so we don't want to apply this temperature to to all of the uh, steps. So, for example, if we go to analysis setting, uh, we have uh, we have two uh, two two a step, uh, and if we if I say one. So, so we want to apply at uh, apply this temperature at, uh, at time 50. So it's a transient simulation. So what we are going to do, we are going to deactivate this row. So we are going to deactivate it. So basically, it's just going to apply at this time. And I think uh, we need to click right and import load. Okay, so it applied the temperature uh, on the fixed geometry. So we go there and we repeat that. So we insert uh, we go here, insert uh, temperature. And then uh, we, we just select uh, the semicircle. We just want to apply the temperature to just semi this semicircle. So we select it, apply. We come here, and then uh, we select file two, and we deactivate uh, this row. And then we import load. Now our simulation is ready. Uh, and we simply can just run it and I think uh, this tutorial uh, uh, is completed here so we can go ahead and solve it. Uh, please subscribe to my channel so I can make more uh, videos and everybody can uh, benefit from that. Thanks for watching this video and if you have any question please uh, drop your question uh, in the space pro provided below.